Hello again. In our last uh, 1 400 scale 3D printed video, we talked about airport tractors, the thing that things that move around airplanes. But today, we're going to talk about getting luggage onto those airplanes. I showed some luggage dollies, but no actual things to transition them into the airplanes. So let's get this out of here. Got my standard uh, reference, the good old uh, classic Range Rover on a US penny. So we're going to start here with this first thing, it's called an FBW 600 and it's a luggage belt system. So this luggage belt moves up and down, so I actually went and printed a one with the high version. And so that's a way for people to get luggage into an airplane. It's a conveyor belt obviously in the front and then the back holds a lot of luggage. Alright, but we're talking like suitcases and small boxes, not like giant shipping containers. Alright, let's get these out of here. So those are interesting because they're actual trucks. More specific to like airports, you know, you wouldn't see this driving it on the road. You probably wouldn't see the other one down the road either, but this is called an Orbiter. <laughs> Excuse me, an Orbiter 4. They come in different sizes. So this is a luggage belt system. So this is specifically meant to take stuff off the dolly full of luggage and then someone throws it on the belt and the belt moves up and down and goes through the doorway of an airplane. I got a few other orbiters here so I'm going to leave this one up. This next one's a little bit larger it seems and this one is called an Orbiter 5. Okay, this next one is an Orbiter 7. So you see they might may be increasing in size. And then the next one is an Orbiter 9. And the last one which is obviously the largest one, that would be the Orbiter 12. So naturally, you know, a, such a small belt like on this blue one, that might be good for like small jets, like 737s or something. But if you're, going, if you're pulling up to an A380, I think you're going to need something like an Orbiter 12 because literally the door is higher, right? So that's why we have different kinds of Orbiter luggage uh, systems. Let me clear these out. So here we have a whole bunch of actual uh, luggage, luggage containers that go inside airplanes and then some regular shipping containers here. So you know since airplanes are generally tube shaped that's why a lot of these things have cuts on them like this is curved because it's meant to go up against the side, side wall of an airplane or some of them are cut on the bottom to fit in the bottom part of the plane, that kind of stuff. Some are just small, you know, to fit in a corner, others are larger. One of these, I forget which one, is actually a horse trailer, a horse thing, it holds horses. So I thought that was interesting, but yeah, people, if you can own a horse, you can probably afford to fly it around. Alright, so anyways, that was a bit of a segue, but you'll see obviously with this Range Rover, yeah, these are 40 foot containers here you know, semi-truck containers. But yeah, some airplane containers are quite huge. I imagine a lot of these are what's shipping stuff around the world, you know, when you buy stuff off eBay or AliExpress. All right. So to get those smaller ones onto airplanes, they have this thing called a Pulsar. This is called a Pulsar 7. Let me get the Range Rover back here. And yeah, it uh, takes one of these containers and then it moves it. It actually has a belt system, I think, on it, or rollers. And it can have mechanized rollers move this container back and forth, but well, usually into the airplane or something like that. So. so it's interesting. I didn't even know these things existed. I don't recall ever seeing these at airports, or I just never looked out for it. So that's the Pulsar 7 and I have a bunch of other ones so this is the 7E which I assume is probably an all in electric, electric version and then we have this next one called a uh, Pulsar 14 but the short version and then here's a Pulsar 14 long version sorry let me get this a little bit closer and then a small one the Pulsar SL You'll notice that one doesn't actually have exposed wheels, so I don't know. Well, that, I don't know what's going on with that thing on the bottom of it. 
And then there's something called a Pulsar Lift, a Pulsar 14 LT, and that actually lifts it up and down. So this can actually load stuff directly into an airplane because it'll lift the platform and also, you know, move the container. Yeah, so move the container back and forth into or out of a plane. All right, let me clear this out because I have a big one coming up here. I've shown before, but not with the model I intended to. I designed it around. So here you can see images of the loading of an Airbus Beluga XL. This plane is so big it swallows fuselages of other airplanes or helicopters or wings over there. So it's a big airplane obviously because, well, that's its purpose is to swallow large amounts of cargo. Okay, so you might be wondering who made this model. This is made by JC Wings. It's a relatively recent release, uh, maybe a few years old. So you can probably still find it online. Uh, but this one has, is nice because it comes with this cockpit that can open. Not a cockpit. The cockpit's down here, but the loading door. And then uh, it has another piece where it's closed. There's another, there are other companies making this model, but they don't have an open hatch. So I got this one, obviously, because I have a little model kit of a helicopter in there and then that's why I designed this thing because I saw images of the transporter uh, used to uh, move stuff on this thing so this is all uh, they look like powered uh, wheel units you know where these things all rotate and then they are all in synchronous synchronicity so they can actually move sideways and straight and stuff like that I believe I've never seen one in person but yeah I made it to match that floor of that model you can see and let me get a 40 foot container so this is quite small for this platform you know again it's meant to suck in like fuselages of airplanes or space modules and stuff like that so yeah sorry and then that tiny little range over <laughs> so yeah that's uh, the cargo lift I have no idea who makes this cargo lift uh, maybe it's actually, I don't know. If I had to guess, it'd be Goldhofer because they make these uh, powered mobile platforms. Okay, let's get back to some more normal size stuff. Alright, here we have uh, the same truck but one in the up position. This is called the LAS 1. LAS 1. Well, it's some sort of cargo lift. I don't know what chassis it's built off of. Maybe a Mercedes, it looks like. But uh, yeah, I, sent, I found some images of this thing. So nothing too uh, extraordinary there. This next one is my own design. I just looked at images of something meant to move a 40 foot container. And this is the closest I could get to the image. I don't know who makes it or anything like that. I just call this the 40 foot container lift. So the platform obviously goes up and down. And then let's get that container again. There you go. 40 foot container. Alright. Alright, this next one here. Sorry. This is called a LACO CML 14. And uh, it's a, obviously a mobile platform that moves containers up and down. So all these things you see these like lines those are rollers and so they can roll the luggage or the big containers back and forth a lot easier than scraping you know a flat surface so there's a bunch of bearings and a bunch of rollers and stuff on these things alright this uh, for comparison this is another one called a Treple Champ 70 so it's a different company I guess you know a competitor and same idea. It probably has like uh, handrails, but I left them off because they'll just be they'll probably break off at one four hundred scale. These these are just oversized, so sometimes I don't put rails on stuff because they tend to look a little bit goofy. Sometimes I add them, sometimes I don't. Okay. Well, I got one other one. Uh, it's going to require a reset as as well. So you might be wondering, what is this thing for? Well, first it's my own design, but again, it's based off photographs I saw. 
I just don't see published dimensions or technical drawings of these things, so I very often have to kind of just use inspiration. But this is an aircraft recovery transport system. So when a plane goes bad, like say it crashes, it loses its landing gear, they can't just drag an airplane around on the on the tarmac, right? So they have to lift it up onto a mobile platform. And this one is that such a thing. And so I had it made where, uh, is, well, it might be painted shut right now. Yeah, it's too bad. Okay, so I made this so it can hold larger planes. Here's a classic plane. This is a Lockheed Martin L1011 TriStar. And if you're curious, there's a brand called Jet X. Jet X is the one the ones that made this. But I know there's other brands making the L1011. And they're probably more modern and probably better than this. Although I do like this one because it's got cool uh, fan details inside of there. So, in fact, let me do a little segue because I haven't looked at this model in years. Yeah, I see those fan, fan details. I like that. And then this one, well, it is blanked off, but they got some black paint in there. So it looks like it's, you know, there's an engine down here, obviously. Okay, so yeah, you get the idea. This is meant to take a wrecked plane and get it to the hangar or to the repair facility or something like that. And then, yeah, I actually have a trailer hitch here on it. So if I have one of my older trailer things here. Let's take that other one I have. Some of my tractors have a peg, peg hole so they can pull this thing. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that's it for today's uh, video. Let me, let me reset all these things. You might be wondering who makes this airplane. This was made by Dream Jets. It's a Boeing 767-300 celebrating the New England Patriots winning five Super Bowls. So, uh, I grew up in New England, so I think that's an awesome plane, of course. Alright, well, that's it for today's cargo loading and cargo transportation uh, models in 1400. On Shapeways, there are other scales available. If for some reason you want to go up to like 187 scale, it's there, but man, those things are, these are expensive as it is. 187, you better be a lottery winner to be buying that scale from Shapeways. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you mark your luggage. I've had luggage lost before, and uh, that wasn't fun. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys. Bye now.